In this video, we're going to actually build our very first web page. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your desktop and we want to create a folder to put all our web documents, our web pages, etc., you know, images and so on into. So what I'm going to do is right click, I'm going to go new folder and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to say my killer website. Ooh, I learned to spell here. There we go. Now, you can give it any name you like. It doesn't really matter. Typically, in a commercial project, I might actually give it the name. In the commercial project, I might actually give it the name of the site that I was building. So let's pretend I was building killersites.com. I call it killersites.com. Again, doesn't really matter. So in this folder you now want to create a new text document so again I'm going to right click I'm going to go to new and you got a bunch of options here so you don't want to choose rich text document you don't want to choose word new word document if you have word and you what you want is you want a new simple text document just text document so I'm going to select that and I'm going to call it my page.txt. Now, if you're on Mac, just create a very simple text document with text edit, and you want to keep it in a simple text format. Um, all right, and if this is confusing for you on Mac, just check out the Mac video on creating a text document. And that's, by the way, is the only difference between web design on a Mac and a PC. If you don't see the .txt on Windows, what you want to do is you want to show file extensions. Now, what are file extensions? File extensions are anything past the dot in a file name. So we got .txt here. Let's go to my documents. You see here, I got a .rtf and I got a .xar. Anything past the dot in these files are called the extensions. And the extensions basically tell the computer something about the document. It tells the computer what kind of document this is. So in this case with mypage.txt, it's telling the computer that this is a text document. TXT is short for text. If it was an Excel document, it would be .xls, xls short for Excel. Some of you may not be seeing the file extensions because your computer is not set up to do it. So to display the file extensions, you have to tell Windows to do this. And the way you do this, you go into folder options. Now I can't show you this on screen because the way my video is being captured here won't show you, but just click the start menu at the very bottom of the pop-up, you're going to see search programs and files. So you want to type in folder options and you click folder options and you can get to it from the control panel as well. If you go again, start menu, control panel. So when you get to control panel, let me just minimize this for you. You're going to go into folder options. There you go, folder options. So you click on that and the folder options appears. And what you want to do is you want to go into view, the second tab. And you want to make sure that if you scroll down a little more than halfway, you see hide extensions for known file types. I just mentioned extensions. You got to make sure this is unchecked. If it's checked, I'm going to go to apply. You see my page, it doesn't have TXT anymore. Now if I uh, uncheck it, hit apply, it appears now. So that's what you want. You want to show the extensions so that you know what kind of files you're dealing with at this time. So now what we want to do is we have our page created. Just double click on it to launch Notepad. In Mac, of course, that would be text edit. And let's actually write some basic HTML code. So just follow along for now and I'll explain to you to you everything HTML there we go this is the very first set of HTML tags we've ever written together 
And uh, so, if I were you, I would pause the video and I'd write this out right now. Do what we just did. Create the folder, create the text document, make sure you see your file extensions, etc. And write this code, HTML, HTML. So, well, HTML, HTML. Now, you see something curious here. You see this, this pointy bracket here, pointy bracket here, pointy bracket here, pointy bracket here. Except there's a forward slash here. It's leaning forward. Think of somebody leaning forward, right? This forward slash is on the same key typically as where you have your question mark. Uh, it's on the bottom right hand of the keyboard. So first thing we got to learn, all HTML tags start with the, the pointy bracket pointing left, has some text in it, and ends with a pointy bracket pointing right. So you got this little case, if you will. Think of it like a package. And most HTML tags come in pairs. Oh, what's a tag? Well, here's a tag. Well, here's a tag pair. The opening tag, closing tag. The tags, think of, I don't know, tags on cows, they, or tags, price tags on clothing or on things that you buy. The tags tell the web browser what it is that you're tagging. So in this case, this is the mother of all tags. This is the HTML tag. This tag pair, and they come in pairs, opening, closing, they come in pairs, and uh, this tag pair tells the web browser that this is an HTML page, right? HTML. And it knows that anything in between this opening tag and this closing tag is going to be HTML in there. And that basically sets up the web browser to do what it needs to do. You see, each and every web browser has an engine. And this engine understands the language of HTML. And when it sees HTML tags, it then starts processing those tags according to the rules of HTML, which the engine knows about. Um, you see this forward slash? That is how you know that is the end of a tag pair. Opening tag pair does not, the opening tag of a pair does not have a forward slash, but the closing does. So when the web browser, so I can have spaces like this, doesn't matter. So when the browser starts reading, starts reading a page from the top, starts scrolling down, bang, 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 boop, hits this tag. It knows it's a tag because it sees this, it sees this, and it understands what this is. It knows this is the opening of the HTML tag. And then it goes, okay, anything after this is going to be HTML, it's HTML, it's HTML. Oh, look, there's another angle bracket slash. Uh, it says this is a closing of a tag, and it sees HTML, and it sees this there, this bracket here, rather. So it knows that this is an HTML set, a set of tags. And it knows this is the opening, this is closing, and it reads this accordingly. So there you go. So... Do what we just did, type it out, and uh, just hit uh, save for now. Not very exciting, but this is the beginning. And you've, by the way, you've learned uh, one of the hardest things about HTML just now. And if it hasn't sunk in, don't worry. We're going to learn a lot more very soon, and it's all going to sink in.